Okay, let's talk now a little bit about body posture. This is such a crucial aspect of playing any kind of a musical instrument, but especially the classical guitar. It is very likely that you'll spend many, many hours with the guitar in your hands over many years, and so uh, being able to play in a relaxed fashion is absolutely crucial so that you would prevent injury and you would maximize your playing ability. If your body posture is defined by tension, um, your playing will be defined by tension and your enjoyment uh, of playing the classical guitar will also be reduced because of the tension that you feel in your body. I think it is so important to play in a way that I think it is so important to play the guitar in a relaxed fashion. Playing with tension and practicing with tension will reduce your effectiveness as a classical guitarist and it will also take away the enjoyment of practicing. If you start feeling pain in your body as a result of your poor posture, uh, you will not progress to the same level as you would if you were to play in a very relaxed, natural fashion. There are various schools of thought as to what constitutes good posture for the classical guitar. I have kind of experienced both schools of thought and I, I have finally landed on a certain body posture that works very well for me and has worked very well for all of my students. So the classical guitarist would use a footstool upon which he or she would place the left foot and hold the guitar propped it up by the left foot. It may feel comfortable in the beginning to play like this. You may find even that the guitar is more stable to play like that. But in the long run, this kind of position puts unnecessary stress on your back. I have seen so many people develop very serious physical conditions due to this kind of a playing position, due to that silly footstool. Uh, I have seen musicians whose careers have been cut short because they have caused so much damage to their nerves, to their back, and they are just simply not even able to sit and play any longer. And so, um, you may uh, find some famous classical guitarists still use a footstool, but I would suggest to you that those who do so and don't have any kind of physical issues as a result of that, are really the exception rather than the rule. And I would advocate for something that's more ergonomic, something that is more uh, user-friendly, something that is so much better for our bodies, for our backs. And there are various types of guitar supports out there. Uh, there are cushions, uh, there are a number of um, manufacturers of these kind of guitar supports and today I want to introduce you to the one that I have been using for the last five years or so. And it's uh, the one that I like the best. I've tried them all. This one is my personal favorite. You don't have to have this as your personal favorite, but choose something that would not put tension on your backs. This support attaches to your guitar by virtue of these suction cups. And so it's very easy to attach. There you go. And now the guitar is held up while I maintain a regular sitting position. Both feet on the ground, my back is straight. I do not have to angle, I do not have to turn my back towards the guitar. My, my back is not um, in a contorted position and I feel very relaxed. Um, the guitar rests securely on my leg um, and, and so uh, because of this, I am now able to practice for hours and not feel any kind of physical strain on my body. And so I would encourage you to invest into a good quality guitar support. Something that's not necessarily the cheapest, but something that will allow for the most flexibility. This particular model, this Ergoplay Truster, works equally well for different body sizes. As we uh, talk about body posture, I would encourage you when you practice not to slouch, um, not to hunch over the guitar and not to lean back, but really sit in the second half of the chair, in the second front half of the chair. 
and imagine that from the waist up, you're actually standing. So you're standing from the waist up. You don't want to lean too far into the guitar. You don't want to lean too far backwards, but just stand from the waist up and allow the guitar to simply rest gently on your chest. As you begin playing, you'll find that um, tension creeps up so quickly on us. Uh, perhaps when you do work on the right hand, rest strokes and free strokes, you'll see that the right shoulder starts being raised up. Force yourself to recognize that and lower it. The same with the, with the left arm, the same with the left shoulder. When you practice and you're so focused, you find yourself bringing this shoulder up Force yourself to breathe out and relax. Everything in a very relaxed fashion. Before any practice, I would start relaxing the entire body. Um, uh, starting with even a, a conscious relaxation of the facial muscles. And just really relax from, from your eyebrow muscles all the way down to your neck, all the way down. Even try to relax your calves as you're having those two feet planted on the ground. So constantly force yourself to breathe and relax. Being able to practice in a relaxed fashion will allow you to perform in a relaxed fashion, which in turn will transmit to your audience a great level of comfort and they will listen to you being relaxed. If you are in a contorted position, if there is a lot of tension in your body, guess what? All that will communicate through your music and the audience will mirror your attitude and will reflect back what you're giving to them. So be very relaxed. Lower your shoulders, constantly breathe, and perhaps it may be even useful to practice in front of a mirror. That way you'll be able to see aspects of your body that you would not normally see. And so you'll be able to correct various aspects of your posture. All right, so these are introductory thoughts, but let's move on to the next segment.